Barnett nil, Southend United three. Dean, tough day at the office. What are your thoughts on the game? I thought we started really well for us 20, 25 minutes. We've four or five corners, got some good areas. I thought they defended them corners well. Um, and when you're on top, you have to score in this division. And we never managed to do that. Uh, Southend got on top of the back end of the second half. I managed to score within that period from a, it was the third phase of a corner. And then um, started the second half, obviously. We knew the next goal was going to be vital and they got it from a long throw. So um, I thought they defended much better than us on the night. And uh, I just think probably we were out too many too many key players tonight against uh, a very, very good South End side. Like you say, it was an even start to the game, but it sort of slipped away after the second goal win. And what sort of lessons are you going to take away from today's game? Well, goals change games. Um, you know, what lessons? I've learned, oh, always learned lessons from the game. Um, you know, look at our squad, the depth of our squad needs to be a little bit stronger. I think that's important. Um, and to be fair, some of the boys haven't kept to the standards they've set, but this division's relentless. Like I said all along, you can win three on the bounce as quick as lose three on the bounce, and it comes tick. We have to go again Saturday in the, in the FA Cup. We've got to go again next next Tuesday at Oldham, Saturday after we're at Oldham. So um, there's loads of lessons learned, uh, just the strength and depth, really. Um, if you look at both squads, which obviously South End come here tonight, you know, they got Reese Murphy, they got Jake Hyde, they've got a lot of top players who are not even in the, sort of in the squad today. I know Reese has come on and hurt his ankle, but from our point of view, we need to strengthen. Sure, uh, Sean Shields returned to the squad today and had a good shot at goal in the second half. How important is his performance today? Or what are your thoughts on it? Uh, look, I speak to Shields a lot about his defensive duties for the team. He needs to do better with his defensive duties for the team. And uh, I thought he was handled quite well, really, by their, by their sort of right wing back. Um, who, who sort of played more of a, more right back at times, thought he was handled quite well. And uh, I thought they, like I say, in, in most departments they deserved that victory. But that first goal was very important at every level. And uh, when we were on top, we never managed to get it. Sam Beard also returned to the match day squad today and came on in the second half. How vital is it to make sure that he doesn't uh, come back too quickly? And what are your thoughts? Look, Beard, he's a good player, he's a strong player for the level. Um, you know, he's missed probably six weeks now, it's been a long time out. We've got a lot of niggles, injuries, big moose is a loss. Um, you've no Gorman today, uh, you've no Powell, who hasn't featured all season. He was a massive player for us um, with his experience in night side tonight. We've just got a lot of players out. Dom Revan obviously missed tonight, which is very frustrating because his, his, his performances have been outstanding. So, um, yeah, look, uh, from our point of view, we know we need to strengthen. We know we need to strengthen our squad. Um, if we're going to be able to uh, have an assault on, on the playoff situation. Attention has quickly turned to the FA Cup this weekend when we host Chelmsford. What the next few days look like for you? Yeah, lads will be off tomorrow. Obviously, as a staff, we'll debrief the game. We'll go through it again on, with them on Thursday, uh, our players. And then, uh, we, like I say, we've got to learn our lessons quick. Um, it's all in all, yeah, we'll prepare for the game. So it's just coming thick and fast, and we'll see who's fit and who's not fit. There's no doubt there'll probably be more injuries. That's the way it's sort of been for us. And um, yeah, we move on to the next game, and uh, we're looking forward to it. FA Cup's a good distraction. Um, it's a great showcase, the best competition in the world, in my opinion. Um, and it's an opportunity for us to. Uh, we're at home, and we want to go after the opposition. To be fair, the Chelsea they're flying. They won again tonight away at Bath, one nil. They won five nil at the weekend, which we watched. Had them scouted again tonight. So, you know, we'll just prepare for the game like we always do, and um, hopefully we can put in a much better performance than what we put in tonight. I just, I saw. It, it, to be honest with you, the opposition deserve that victory and they deserve the win by the scoreline as well. So full credit to them, but we have to make sure we keep to the standards we set at Bromley, uh, Maiden Heads game as well, stuff like that. So we've got to make sure we keep to them standards. And um, if we do that, we're a good side. When we drop below them standards, that's what happens, what happens to us tonight. Dean, thanks for your time.